So what's the biggest problem with acting? Well, in a nutshell, it's you. Because when you come to acting initially, nobody is a born actor. Basically, they have to overcome what we call their conditioning in order to be able to be a great actor. So why is this the case? Well, initially, if you think about the progression of uh, what it's like to be a human when you're born and what you actually go through, let's just look at it. Because your parents initially will tell you what's right and wrong. In fact, uh, something like in the first five years of a child's life, they hear the word no thousands and thousands of times. So basically you're told from birth a lot of things that you shouldn't be doing. And it's probably pretty rare that you get parents that will say, yeah, you can just be really expressive and do whatever you want. Usually we're told to start to conform to society and what, what is expected. You go to school. And when you go to school, they don't, generally speaking, they don't ask you to be really open and expressive and tell you how you really feel. You're told to sit down and be quiet. If you go to work, eventually, the same thing actually happens there too. When was the last time that anybody ever went into work and they said, hi, welcome, I just want you to kind of tell me everything about how you feel. I just want to you express yourself whatever way you want. And um, yeah, welcome, let's just you know, be really emotional today. So that, that doesn't tend to happen. In fact, if you've ever watched somebody cry in an office, it's quite interesting. Because what happens is somebody, if somebody's upset and they're crying, basically somebody will walk up to them and go, are you all right? And that is code for shut up, stop. And then if it does, that doesn't work, it's like they get them and take them away in case they actually sort of upset the other people in the environment. So you are conditioned over and over again, not to be emotional. It's, it's really not accepted in society to be emotional. And even to really express yourself really isn't um, taught or wanted. Basically what you're told is you have to keep that to yourself. So basically what this leads to over time is a person learns to disconnect from their feelings and emotions. They learn to numb out because they're not, uh, th they don't want to be connected to those. They've been taught and trained not to do it. At least to a lack of expression because it's not acceptable. People don't express themselves as much. A lack of creativity starts to set in. So let me show you because the people that I'm about to show you were all in that situation at one time. Now, we could talk to varying degrees about how somebody might be more uh, predisposed to acting because it depends on the environment. It depends on their society, where they grew up, the country they grew up, what their parents were like. But all in all, the vast majority of actors have to learn and they reconnect to their emotions and be able to be allowed to express themselves fully before they really get to the point where they become a great actor.